No. Too bad, I unmuted you just as you said no. Of course you did, you jerk. Why do you always continue to do that? Huh? Nothing, let's just get going. I do that because it's so easy to get you. To get me what? Huh? To get me what? To catch you mid-sentence or mid-response or something. Gosh dang it. But why? Um, so this was our first options thing, right? No, this is the start of the interview. That's the start of the interview. And this is... That was first op first pick. First option. Yeah. Well, we're going for Haze, so I guess we want to skip the tour, right? Yeah. So should we go straight to the interview? Yes. Hopefully it does a crash. Please wait. Just so you're aware, we aren't starting without coffee. I have coffee! I don't. Because it's pretty late for me to have coffee. You should have coffee. No, thank you. I'd rather have alcohol. You could have both. No, Irish not allowed. Irish coffee's pretty tasty. Not allowed. <laughs> Who's stopping you? Me. Mm-hmm. I'm stopping me. Uh, okay. You can talk, of course. I meant the interview. Okay. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a tiny slip of a blonde man standing at the balcony entrance. Ah. I jump a little. When did he get here? I didn't hear anybody come up the stairs at all. Is this guy a ghost? Spooky. Graves looks like the type to hire ghosts. Spoopy. He looks terrified by my shout. I think I scared him more than he scared me. Aww. He's also quite bundled up now that I look closer, because he's got like a hoodie. And then he has a sweater over underneath the, the sweater. And I'm kind of assuming he has a shirt underneath the hoodie. I would expect him to have a shirt underneath the hoodie. That would be my normal expectation. Yes. So he's got like layers on. That's a lot of layers. And then also he drinks tea and coffee all the time, which are warm drinks. I don't know how he survives. Gingerly, he sets two mugs in front of Graves. Thank you, Hayes, but you should give Avery the other mug. He sounds like he's reminding a child to say thank you. Uh, of course. Hayes glances up at me. Our eyes meet for a millisecond before he suddenly finds something very important to focus on downstairs. He pushes the cup toward me without looking back up. Uh, thank you? Graves' ring clacks against the porcelain of the cup as he takes a drink. Perfect, as always. Don't know what I did without your coffee. It's nothing special, really. He talks like it's the first time he's spoken today. Quiet and a little hoarse. <laughs> no, not that kind of horse. Only cats. <laughs> if that's all, I'll go back to the cats. That's fine. He slips back down the stairs just as quietly as he arrived. That kid would make a great ninja. Alright, that's his superpower, or that's his magical power, so he's gonna be a ninja. <laughs> ninja cat? Ninja cat! I look down at the coffee and see a sleepy cat face staring up at me from the phone. Me. I've only ever seen latte art on the internet before. Did Hayes really do this? I take a sip. It's not bad if you like coffee, I guess, but you could really use some sugar. Nah, Hayes is going to be the drawing powers. There are packets on the table, but I can't bring myself to ruin the foam cat. I mean, you know what, maybe. <laughs> now we can get this going. Let's interview. I'll even start you off easy. What's your favorite breed of cat? Uh... Well, he is a Siamese, he's a Siamese right? isn't he? 
Do you know any other languages? How about ciphers? Mm, no? I feel like the dot 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 is where I'm like, yes, Hayes. What marine animal would you say best represents you? Penguin. Not shark? <laughs> I'm a goldfish, not a shark. Okay, sharky. Penguin. What genre of music would you use to describe your worth ethic? Hayes. I feel like Hayes would be like responding with these like, uh, uh Yeah? <laughs> My god, I see some children sing along. <laughs> no, no, that would have been Reese. <laughs> On a scale from one to ten, rate me as an interviewer. Uh, sure, ten, whatever, bye. Draculas or teenage dwarves? Go away, please. There's Draculas? Just kidding with that last one. Interesting. He looks down at his coffee cup and tilts it idly towards him. You're fired. You're fired before we've even hired you. Yes. He looks like he's enraptured with the foam as it drips from the side of the cup. A drop of coffee spills onto the saucer. I suppose you'll do then. Does, does that mean I get the job? You're quite astute. Uh, that doesn't really answer my question. You can start tomorrow. Oh, wow, thank you. Don't run off yet. I have paperwork for you. Oh yeah, of course. Graves pushes away from the table, coffee cup in hand. He nabs my saucer, even though I'm not quite finished, and slinks down the stairs. He returns as if he'd never left, trading the empty coffee cups for a small stack of papers and a pen. He places them in front of me. So, what will my job be? We'll see. Did... Did he hire me with no position in mind? Is this how this guy usually works? Yes. I feel like I'm in a daze. Too much information and too much coffee. Never. I take the papers and skim them, citing pretty much anywhere I see an X in a line. What's it all for, and why is there so much? Probably taxes and stuff. I don't know. Taxes. And who cares? I've got a job! Yeah. I push the papers back towards Graves, and he eagerly scoops them off the table. Perfect. We open at 11. Be here at 8. We'll have you help with the morning prep. My displeasure must be pretty apparent, because his mouth cracks into another smirk. You can work a later shift after training. You won't have to deal with those cursed mornings for too long. Uh, okay. That's fine. Now go. I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. You need to get to work fixing that sleep schedule of yours. I don't have a sleep schedule problem. Okay, okay. You don't have a sleep schedule problem because you don't have a sleep schedule? Shh. Just kidding, I'm actually talking about me. He seems lost yeah, in his own world now, poring over the paperwork I just filled out. I'm the one who has an, a somewhat regular sleep schedule. I have a somewhat regular sleep schedule, I just don't sleep. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, here's the real problem. Meow! Meow! You, you should stop playing this game until all hours of the night. Huh? You should stop playing this game until all hours of the night. I don't play this game all hours into the night. I play other games all hours into the night. <laughs> uh... there's all sorts of tax stuff you have to deal with the hiring people why would you do it so casually well whatever not my problem i head down the stairs landry's back he looks uncomfortable waiting at the foot of the balcony but perks up when he sees me so i'll see you tomorrow co-worker oh oh congratulations 
You can meet everybody else tomorrow morning. I'm sure you'll. They're all. Bleh, 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 bleh. I'll make sure they're all. Re they're all ready for a meeting when you get in. How many people work here? Well, there's me, Graves, of course. Humet Hayes, Finley, Mason, Reese. That's it. It shouldn't take too long to get to know them. Okay, great. I'll see you all tomorrow then. <laughs> great. See you. Wahoo! It's a me, Mario. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna live it up a little. I'm gonna paint this town red. I finally have a job. And Jobs. Two bucks an hour. Huh? Pays me two bucks an hour. Plus tips. Plus tips. Uh, because <laughs> time for your favorite song again. Oh yes, the farts are back. I wish it let us skip. Yeah, I'm surprised. Oh wait, it no, it does let me skip. Yeah. Nice. I got lost and I didn't end up painting anything, but I skipped the intro song and it was a nice walk. As I head home, I get this distinct feeling of being followed. I didn't really know that was a thing that actually happens, but it's hard not to notice when you see some movement out of the corner of your eye. I turn around. A sleek black cat stands in the middle of the road. It sits down when we make eye contact and thumps its tail testily against the pavement. It's got different colored eyes. I guess heterochromia really is pretty common in cats, huh? Should I, like, try to bring it to the cafe? You take care of strays there, after all. I should try! I crouch down as slowly as I can and reach my hand toward the cat, beckoning to it. It doesn't move. I make those little smoochy noises that seem to work on some cats. Smoochy noises, please. You tried this last time, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> They're prepared to be sitting here for the next two hours. That's fine, I have a nice cup of coffee. Is that cup of coffee gonna last you for two hours? Nope, I'll walk away and make some more. <laughs> I mean, I'm already like halfway through the cup, but I just started like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but I feel like some people make different noises than other people because I don't really make smoochy noises at my cats I make um, like clicky noises sure I wouldn't know I'm like do I, I want can't... to back in one of my cats right now they both look like they're sleeping so peacefully Again, I um, take care of dogs where I just talk to them. Like, I just talk to them. I mean, I talk to my cats too. They don't always listen. That's because cats don't listen. They listen sometimes. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I am sure about that. They listen sometimes when it happens to coincide with the thing that they want. Exactly. <laughs> or with the uh, enticement of treats or something. Sometimes they listen for treats. So they get what they want, food. Yep. And by listen, I mean I can guide them places sometimes, rarely. I no smoochy noises. This no one doesn't seem noises. terribly impressed anyway. Pins its ears back and it looks away. It's not impressed with your lack of smoochy noises, come on. It's graves, I don't care. Still for a moment before standing up and slinking into an alley. Graves is not impressed with you. I guess I should just leave this to the professionals. 
If I worked at the cafe, I'd probably be fired. It's time to celebrate. I'm gonna wreck this pizza I grabbed from Pizza Lloyd's on the way home. I picked up a can of wet food, wet cat food for Mochi from the corner store too. I figure we both deserve a celebration. Nah. Mochi, get your fat lump out here. I have good news. No answer or indication he is even in the same room. You know, he never even asks how my day was. I know how to do this. I walk over to his food bowl and crack the lid of the wet food. In a flash, he's at my feet, tail shaking like a rotor behind him. Come here, you big moron. I give him a little scratch behind the ears before I dump half the can into his bowl and feeding frenzy begins. He acts like I never feed him. Because you probably don't. I mean, we don't seem to talk about it much, so. I think this is one of the only times they talk about feeding mochi. Well, there's that other time when you come home and seemingly mochi is like, you better remember the good stuff in the can, not that dry shit. And then Avery, like, goes straight to bed without feeding Mochi. <laughs> yeah. And over here is a bag that says cat stuff. <laughs> is the cat stuff food? Is it litter? I don't know. It's both. We've been over this. I know we've been over this. <laughs> but you can't eat cat litter. You can if you try hard enough. I mean, you'll get sick. Exactly. But that's not the same as feeding mochi. That's what you think. Usually the goal of feeding your pet is to keep them alive. I don't know. Avery doesn't seem good at that. If mochi has not died yet. <laughs> but he probably goes without eating for a few days. Feed mochi. After a quick jaunt to free myself from the shackles of non-pajama clothing, I flop back down on the couch, dinner in hand, laptop in my face. Oh! It looks like there's a new jelly donut video. It's a video of her sleeping in a donut box. I love that dumb internet cat. She's always doing something ridiculous. I wonder how her owner gets her to do those tricks. That flooring seems familiar. Where are these filmed? Spend the rest of the evening picking through the video archives. I can feel myself sinking into the bread dough couch cushions. <clears throat> but if you've properly proofed your dough, it should bounce back. That's what you think. That's what I know from making bread. But like, this is Avery we're talking about. Who also sucks at making bread, probably. Yeah. So early. What's his problem? Mow! I bet he just wants the other half of that wet food. This is why I don't get it for him that often. Fun fact, apparently, uh, you're supposed to give at least male cats wet food at least I think it was like twice a week or something for their health. Oh? Because uh, something, something urinary issues if they don't get wet food. Interesting. I've heard that at least specifically for male cats. Um, I mean, I just feed my cats wet and dry food alternating usually. Um, Spoil! I mean, if I can afford to give them wet food, I will. At least they still get some dry food because it's dental food. Wow. Well, 
Because otherwise I have to like brush their teeth and they don't stay still long enough for me to do that. So this is the closest I can get. I can't imagine your cat staying still ever. Uh, They do if they're sleeping, but if I get too close, they'll wake up and run away. Exactly. I excavate myself from the couch and do what I can to mitigate the bedhead situation I have going on. What time is it anyway? Oh, I grab my phone to check. 7.40! Hell! I'm going to be late for my first day of work. I take the world's fastest shower, but there's no time to dry my hair. I'll have to hope that I run fast enough that the wind resistance will do the job for me. No time to sort through my duffel. Just going to have to throw on whatever looks cleanest. It's not like Graves said anything about a dress code, so whatever. Mochi trails me closely, howling more and more insistently along the way. It's like he doesn't care about my punctuality at all. No time to mix the wet food the way he likes it. I dump a scoop of kibble into the bowl on my way out the door. I haven't seen a cat so offended since the one that watched me mess up coffee. They can both deal with it. Uh, Can't believe I'm almost late to my first day of work. At my first job, even. What a great first impression, Leaf. Thanks for hiring me, Avery the Flake. I start out in a full sprint to the cafe. But it's only about a 10 minute walk, so it looks like it might not be as bad as I thought. If I run, I can make it in less time. Here it is, a cat's paw. I got a good look at it when I was here yesterday, but it feels totally different when it's your workplace, you know? It's kind of nice to think about. Hey, Avery! You're late. Landry peeks his head out from the door frame and waves me in. I'm surprised by how many people are standing around. Graves, Graves Landry. Is actually here. Huh? Graves is actually here for once. Well. Graves, Landry, and Hayes are there, but so are a few others I've never seen. Meaning the left side of the screen. Exactly. Who needs to know those people? We don't because... We've done two of their rounds already, and the last one's next time. (laughs) I only see a few cats right now, but they seem utterly disinterested in everything we're doing. I also like how Graves has such a space around him. Nobody wants to get too near him. But they love him. They'll get even more cursed. They're all piled in a sleep cluster by the window. I feel a little embarrassed that I'm so disheveled, but I'd rather be on time with wet hair than late and looking perfect. Good. You decided to challenge the morning sun after all. Well, the only reason I got up was because of a cat. I mean, yes, totally. Meow! Now that the star is here, we can start this show. Still as weird as yesterday, I see. Caught another sucker, boss. And that's esteemed co-worker to you, Reese. You just keep collecting the strays. Uh, before we get too far, everybody should introduce themselves to Avery. Avery, we've already met, and you already know Graves. Did you meet Hayes yesterday? Briefly, hello, Hayes. Uh, hello. He looks like he's going to try to slip between the cracks in the tile. How does a guy like this handle a job that deals with people? Because he doesn't deal with the people. Mostly. Hayes is a great priest. He's a great help in the kitchen, and he likes to spend a lot of his time with the cats, too. Hayes flashes me a quick look. The side of his mouth upturns ever so slightly, like he's trying to smile, but he's out of practice. I reach out to shake his hand. He's practically bracing for impact. Before I reach him, a bright light flashes at the corner of my vision. What? Is that a camera? Gosh dang it, this is me. Yep. Ooh, 
Sorry, sweetie. I thought I turned the flash off. I whip my head to the other side of the lineup. The girl on the end is aiming her phone directly at me. Sorry, don't mind me. I just want to commemorate our new employee. I'm Finley and I take care of social media. I like Candid, so I'll try again later when you're forgotten about it. Finley is also. Graves, I know what you're gonna say. Don't ruin the surprise. Graves lets out a soft bark of a laugh. <laughs> Even though he's a cat. Although it's a soft bark. Would you like to demonstrate a soft bark, Mr. <laughs> Dog <No>. Caretaker? <laughs> Continue. You're the one who started barking. <laughs> all right, all right. You tell Avery whenever you're ready. Thank you. The two in the middle of the lineup look beyond unimpressed. One is a smart mouth guy, Reese. And the other looks like someone I wouldn't want to mess with. Finley puts her hand on the shoulder of the tough looking woman standing next to her. Since she's not going to introduce herself, this is Mason. She's our head chef. Or our only chef, I guess. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you both. Yeah. Finley reaches up and places her hand against the back of Mason's head. She pushes her hand forward, forcing Mason to nod. I'm amazed Mason is putting up with this. Wow, that's the most she's spoken all day. She likes it already, Avery. Mason makes a quick little noise that could either be a laugh or a grunt. Or both. Maybe it was both. Avery. I am Avery. How kind of you all to save the best for last. Not. I'm Reese, and I'm the one you'll be answering to after Graves, so you better stay on my good side. How about no? I would have sworn Landry was second in command here, but I don't know. So I don't know what this kid's talking about. I didn't even see him at all during the interview yesterday. I'm on cat detail today, but don't think that means I won't be keeping an eye on you. Cat detail must mean taking care of the cats. Obviously. I'm learning quickly. <laughs> yep. Avery's learning so fast. I mean, when he didn't really read the paperwork and they. doesn't really know. Dang. Gosh dang it. When they didn't really read the paperwork and they don't know about the curse, makes sense? I'm just laughing that Avery is patting themselves on the back about learning so quickly, and I'm like, okay, but you're wrong. But they don't know. They should know. They don't know better. They should. They don't read. They should. Why? Reading's hard. <sighs> read some of those books I sent you. <laughs> I don't know why the second in command would be so eager about telling me he's gonna clean litter boxes today. Maybe it's a weird status thing here. Ew. Uh, I'll be on my best behavior then, I guess. Good. Okay, that should be everybody then. Avery, you'll be training with me today. I hope that's okay. That's fine with me. It looks like I'm no longer needed. I have other work to do. You know where to find me. Nowhere. Graves slinks to the back of the cafe. I think I can hear footsteps on creaky stairs. Mason and Hayes disappear after him. Just you. <sighs> Avery, did you have breakfast? We're gonna have something to eat before work, if you'd like to join us. It's tradition. That sounds great. I fed my cat, but I forgot to feed myself. Reese has already seated himself at the long booth seating along the wall. 
He scoots two of the tables together and Landry pulls over another chair. I will never understand. He seats himself along the wall and then scoots the tables together? Yes. Not before sitting down? No. God damn it, Reese. Pray, just sit and relax. Mason's just finishing up breakfast. I move to take a seat, but Finley blocks my path. Avery, before you sit down, I have a question for you. Sure, what's up? Okay, is that... Her voice drops, almost conspiratorially. She leans in to whisper. That's an Akia shirt, isn't it? He's my favorite, too. A what? Akia? From Blastone? From what? Look, you don't have to play dumb. I get it. No, I really have no idea what that is. Is that like a show? Is this shirt from something? Oh, um... No! Never mind, don't worry about it. Man, I just thought it was cool, sure. I just thought it was a cool shirt. Well, it is, but it's weird to buy things from games you haven't played. Oh, Poser. It's a, it's a game. I play some games, but I haven't heard of that one. I like a lot of retro games, so if it's something new... Oh, it's a, it's a different type of game. Never mind. Your favorite Stupid face. face. <laughs> Stupid face! <laughs> well, now I'm curious. No, it's okay. You probably wouldn't like games about boys fighting. Or maybe you would. Uh... The way Finley's like drooling a little bit there. <laughs> well, that's what she's into, uh -huh. apparently. Okay. Maybe I'll lend it to you sometime. If you prove yourself worthy. Not really sure what that involves, but sure. Okay. She gives me a grin and a wink, then takes a seat at the table next to Reese. I noticed that somebody set the table while I was talking to Finley. Mason and Hayes should be out in a minute, Avery. Come, sit down. Sure. Where should I sit, though? What if there are some unspoken rules about this sort of thing? And placing? You never know with new groups. Landry answers the conundrum for me by beckoning to the seat between him and Finlay. Quietly, I take the seat. Mason emerges from the back with a large tray balanced atop each hand. One tray has a giant stack of French toast. The other is some kind of egg thing. Yeah, it's just, it's an egg thingy. Some kind of egg thing. It's an egg thingy. Don't worry about it. It's eggs. It's a Maybe thingy. Maybe I should make French toast next. If you want. I'm not sure, but it makes, it looks amazing. Uh, but I screwed up my frittata today. I forgot to add salt before I baked it. Oh? I forgot to season it. I added fresh herbs, but then I forgot to add any other kind of seasoning. So, so it would be approximately the same as a better version of my parents. I feel insulted. I said a better version! I still feel insulted. Okay, but they don't season anything! They don't even know what seasoning is. Yes, but according to you, their frittata makes you sick. It does make me sick. So I feel insulted. Well, I haven't had yours. How should I know if it makes me sick or not? It shouldn't. It's essentially an omelet. And yet theirs makes me sick. 
I don't think you can call that a frittata. What would you call radiation poisoning? Sure. Gosh. No, I would, um, I would make Zelda reference and call it a dubious food. Ow. Like, what Zelda reference can you make? Forgetting huh? Breath of the Wild. Huh? I said, I was wondering what kind of Zelda reference you could make with that. Forgetting Breath of the Wild. <laughs> like I probably normally do. Even though that's the one, like, everyone talks about now. I didn't really like it that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was okay. I also haven't really heard that many people talking about it recently. Well, not recently, but I feel like most times when it's come up, it has been the one that comes up. I only I hear people that's... talk about Zelda so often. Well, yes, I don't really have pe I don't really know people who talk about video games often. There is someone who is talking about it at work, um, on Friday, actually. Really? Yeah, they said that the only game they play is Zelda. Breath oh my of the gosh. Wild. But I think they said it's because their partner has it. Something like that. Mm. I'm not sure, but it looks amazing. Whoa. I had no idea how hungry I was until just now. Hold on, I should eat dinner at some point. I was about to say, have you eaten yet? I had lunch and a snack. All right, you better eat dinner after this. She sets Maybe. the trays down in front of us and then returns to the kitchen. I hope she gets back soon because I'm about to be on that egg thing like mochi on wet food. Yes, that egg thing. It is an egg thing. Mason returns a few moments later, cradling six empty coffee cups in her arms. Hayes follows in tow, carefully balancing a carafe full of coffee. Maybe I should have named this um, this one carafe instead of cappuccino. Et. They set the cups and carafe on the table and take their seats. Hayes but barely touched, barely hits the chair before the others start to dig in. I'm a little afraid that I'll lose my hand in the fray if I try to jump in now, but I'm so hungry. Yeah, uh, like, one of them might bite it off or something. I'm just never like, gonna quite get over the fact that here's the frittata, and here are so many French toast. Also, I think that's a dish of, like, peas and some strawberries? And there's something else behind the save icon. Jelly? Maybe grape jelly. And I mean, I don't know what this is. I feel like it's supposed to be mashed butter potatoes. for the punch. Huh? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> Landry reaches out an arm from behind a fortress of French toast slices. He lightly bats at Reese's hand as it reaches for the syrup pitcher. Save some for Avery. Jeez, calm down. You're the one stealing all the food. I haven't taken any more than usual. Well, that's your problem. You have an extra person, but you're taking the same amount. <laughs> that means Mason apparently just needs to make more. I feel like she probably did. I don't know. Probably. This is a lot of food even for this many people though. I mean, they probably eat a lot of food. I'm sure they do. Like me, if I was there, I would eat nothing. Mason would yell at you. Okay, okay. I would eat a small plate. Better? You eat normal meals. I do! Read your fucking line. Breakfast is important. While everybody shouts and chatters across the table, I help myself to a bit of everything. All everything involved in French toast and frittata, apparently. There could be a lot. A bit of everything. 
Yeah. I'm not used to eating a real breakfast, especially one that didn't come out of a microwave. A real breakfast. So I'm gonna savor this. Wow, this is amazing. You know, I think judging by this image, you have to say it like your mouth is half full, like Avery. No! Mason, what is this egg thing? Oh god. What? There's a thing <laughs> that popped up. Yeah, I see it! <sighs> Just minimize it real quick. Well, I'm gonna set something so it doesn't try to restart right now. <laughs> that would be funny. That'd be terrible. Sorry, I would laugh a little bit. I know you would. Uh... Okay, I set it to seven my time, so... Yeah, that's pretty late. By then, we, we better be done with this. That would be really impressive if we haven't been done by this. Mason's eyebrow shoots up. She looks at me like a gruin on a nose. Frittata. Is that like a souffle? Looks like it'd be really hard to make. It literally looks like scrambled eggs in this image. Just eggs and vegetables in a pan. Still, I know I wouldn't be able to make anything like that. It's really nice to have a real breakfast. What do you usually- What do you usually eat, Avery? Uh, mostly cold pizza or toaster tarts, I guess, if I remember to get them. Mason glares like I just knocked her plate on the floor. She stares directly at me, through me, with a hard look in her eyes. You eat here now. Always. Uh... Can I still have pizza sometimes? Not for breakfast. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Finley and Reese snickering. Thank you, Finley. Uh, okay. But other times are still okay, right? Mason rolls her eyes and goes back to her coffee. Reese stares up at me between bites of French toast. Avery, when we're done, we need to talk about dress code. Oh, Reese, don't start this again. Shh, it's an important part of new employee orientation. Landry passes a positively pained look at Reese. He glances at me, but a poke to the ribs from Finley sends him staring back at his plate. Andrew, you're such a mama bird sometimes. Lighten up! Avery, look at this place. You take our visual presentation very seriously here. Mason With gives my robot grunt. arms and giant coats. Mason gives another grunt. Hayes places his empty plate and cup on Mason's plate and takes the stack into the back with the urgency of a tactical retreat. Graves and I expect a certain level of decor with the wait staff. Is this about my outfit? I woke up a little late, so... No, this is about uniforms. Mason pushes her chair away from the table with enough force that it wobbles briefly on two legs. She stands and takes my plate in one fell swoop. Opening soon. Time to get ready. She picks up the now empty cast iron skillet with one hand and balances a few of the other plates on top. That looks heavy, but she's holding it all like it's nothing. Come on. She, me. she stares me down and gestures the back door with a head nod before she heads into the kitchen. Don't think you can run off so easily, Avery. You'll get written up if you don't have your uniform. Run away! Hey, Hayes. Is Mason really the only chef here? That must take a lot of work. She could use some help. 
Mostly I'm just grateful she gave me an out. Whatever Reese is planning, it doesn't sound like anyone with Finley cares for it. No, thank you. And Finley only cares for because of the pictures. I think Mason and Hayes wanted my help though. <laughs> Fine, if Mason needs the help. But you're not off the hook for this yet. Yes, I am. Reese. Oh, come on, Landry, don't look at me like that. Something is definitely up. Whatever it is, I'm not going to fall for it. Well, I'll be back once Mason says I'm done. I quickly retreat back to the kitchen before Reese can delay me further. Even though I work here now, I still feel like I'm trespassing on hollowed ground. I've never been in a restaurant kitchen before. Heck, I'm barely in my own kitchen. It smells amazing. Almost enough to make me hungry all over again. Hayes is at the sink, carefully scrubbing the iron skillet we used at breakfast. It looks like he's already got the dishes on lockdown, to be honest. Mason only spares me a glance. She's already back to work, and it looks like there's a lot of it left to do. She dips a long spatula into a big metal bowl and globs and heaps a glob of frosting on top of a cake. It's mesmerizing watching her move as she works to smooth the frosting. Can I help? Any experience? With what? Baking? Don't know why I asked. Was it because of that egg thing earlier? Come on. She doesn't bother looking up, but it feels like she doesn't have to see the cake to decorate it. I bet she could do this in her sleep. Don't touch anything. Hmm? I guess I'll go? Okay, bye. Oh, okay. I'll go, uh, see if there's anything else I can do to help out. It seems like Hayes and Mason aren't really the talking type. If it weren't for the sound of the sink, it'd be dead silent back here. I guess I'm intruding. Oh well. Don't know how this is gonna go. We'll see, I guess. I guess I should find where Landry ran off to. He's training me today, after all. I think he went upstairs? I head over to the foot of the staircase, but a cat is taken station right in my path. Also, I just realized <laughs> there is a random cat just staring off of me. <laughs> Gosh dang, that's hard to say. They're just creepily staring out from through the glass upstairs. And there is little cat head shaped face. I, I saw earlier that um, right next to the uh, window during the interview where it says a cat's paw mm -hmm. underneath of it, I didn't realize that the um, paintings all spell out cat. Oh, really? Yeah. I feel like I pointed that out before. <laughs> I don't think so. I noticed it before. I didn't because I'm dumb. It's sleeping belly up, stretched out to nearly the whole width of the step. Buddy, that's really cute, but that's a dangerous place to sleep. It doesn't dignify me with a response. Instead, the fat orange cat shimmies in place to settle itself even more. Gently, I nudge it to see if I can get the cat to move. Someone's gonna trip on you if you don't move. That's not gonna be fun for either of you. It opens one eye into a thin slit, then makes a murmuring noise and flicks its tail. This little tiger isn't going anywhere, is it? Are all the cats here this spoiled? Wait. Yes. Observation number two. This cat is like a mirror image of this cat down here. <laughs> Gosh, I wonder if they just reused the sprite and stuck its head up somewhere. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's really cute, though. Yeah, they probably just flipped it. And stuck it and up stuck there. It. Yeah. 
I mean, it is hard to notice the one upstairs in the first place, so. It is. I guess yeah. they were like, no one will notice. But we did. I'm surprised they even did that. Huh? I'm surprised they even did that. Did what? Stick a cat up there. I mean, I feel like it hard. makes sense. Where it's hard to notice. I mean, the thing with backgrounds is that you don't necessarily pay attention to them, but they add something yeah. to it. So I'll have to so. pick it up and move it myself. I lean over to scoop it up, but as I do, a tiny orange and white bobtailed cat whizzes past my feet. It stops on the step below the sleeping cat, then raises one paw and bats the other cat squarely on the forehead. The sleeping cat wakes up and hops to its feet. It looks angry. Am I going to have to break up a cat fight? Hey, you two. The bobtail flattens its ears and stares intently at the orange cat. They both perk up when they hear a voice from above. Uh, is Hash Brown sleeping on the stairs again? The orange cat. Hash Browns, I guess, trots away. Landry works his way down the stairs, eyes on the bobtail kitten. Was it really necessary to smack him? You should be nice. The bobtail turns its head away in a wide arc, almost as if it's giving an okay, whatever in response. It lazily struts over to the windowsill and takes up sentry. That cat's name is Hash Browns? <laughs> yeah. Grace names all the cats here. He comes up with some interesting ones. What are some of their names? Hmm. Well, at the moment, there's Ramona. Uh, the, 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 I. Come on, Shinsuke? you've read this line like three times. And I always forget. Shinsuke. Shinsuke, Kotick, Owl. <laughs> Bramble Pelt. Now he's a uh, Valentine Marina. We have Vincent Valentine. No. I'm Junta, Jam Band, and so on. Holy crap. Which one was the bo was that Bobtail? Oh. His face falls. Why does he look so nervous? That's... Why don't you ask Grace later? Huh? Is that his cat? Did he name it or something? Is it a bad name? Yes, it's Motherfucker. Whoa! No, he's... Grace should have told you about it. About? Well, let's get to work. It's time to open. Landry isn't having any more of this. He walks past me to the front door without a glance. He unlocks it and flips the sign from close to open. We are not talking about this right now. Bye. And ta-da! Your first day at the cat's paw has begun. And nobody's here. Okay, this is a little anticlimactic. <laughs> yeah. The mornings are usually pretty slow. It might pick up later. It didn't. At all. <laughs> like, all it day. was just, just standing there in the same exact position all day. Yep, you just stand there. <laughs> sure, a few people came in and... Landry had me wait their tables while he supervised. It went pretty well and I made a couple bucks in tips, but that was it. Finley came down a couple of times to check in and I saw Mason and Hayes every time I went into the kitchen, but I didn't see Reese at all. Reese's bobtailed cat, on the other hand, was all over the place. I think I see why he'd take a shine to this one. They're both complete hams. Not that I mind that it was slow. I just meant it just meant I got to play with the cats more. There are like 10 of them here, maybe? I can't get a solid count on them. They seem to vanish sometimes. Looks like there are a lot of areas around for them to hide. Every time. Every time. Thank you for your help today, Avery. Other voice. I did that one on purpose. 
Huh? I did that one on purpose, actually. That time. Why? Just, just because every time. I have to screw up every time. Well, it doesn't matter because at least this time it's your line either way. Yes, it is. Ever since we switched. Landry, Finley, and I just finished wiping down the tables. Mason was gone before the cafe closed. I don't know where Hayes went. Still you. I was yawning. Hold your pants. Hold my hands? I said pants. No, I refuse. You refuse to hold your pants? Yeah, because it's weird. So, how'd you like it? Is it always this quiet? I mean, not that I'm complaining. Not always. Tomorrow should be busier for sure. I've got plans. Oh, we should get here early then, huh? Don't say that like you aren't always early. Oh, I have to come in earlier? Don't worry too much about it, Avery. Just show up at your regular time. Yeah, your regular time that has been set as of day one today. Shh. You say that every time. Yeah, well, Avery was already almost late today, so... They made it! Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Doesn't Reese call them on being late? Um... I, I think he did. did. Huh? One of them does because we're, we talk to Graves. Yeah, I think Reese calls you on being late at one point. I can't imagine what busy means here. What, like six people in here at the same time? I've got a little more work I want to do on the vlog, so you all go ahead. I'll close up if Graves doesn't come here to do it. Oh, thank you. Avery, you can head out. Thanks. Are you leaving now? I could walk with you. Uh, I'll, I'll be out in a bit. You go on ahead. Oh, all right. See you all tomorrow. Night. The door closes behind me with a jingle. I have a job! My coworkers are pretty cute. Are they he gets to play with the cats. And if this works out, I should be able to afford a place of my own soon. Wait until my parents hear about this. Where can you afford a place of your own very soon after starting, like, a waitstaff job? Maybe Graves pays them really well. You know, to compensate for the curse. Somehow I doubt it. In fact, like, they never talk about pay, in no, fact. They don't. No, they don't. It's just like, oh, well. You get tips. Presumably you should get a paid check. But anyway, like, you can't buy things from stores. You can't go to the bank. If he's giving them a physical paycheck, like, how can they cash it? Well, I guess there's mobile banking now. But this game yeah. is a few years old, so I don't remember if mobile banking was as much of a thing back then. It doesn't matter. He pays them in cat treats. Gosh dang it. Wait until my parents hear about this. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I can't help giving a little celebratory fist pump. All right. I think I just heard someone snort a laugh behind me. I thought I said that pretty quietly. All right. 
I turn around to see who it is, but there's nobody there but a cat. Two cats, actually. Cats from the cafe. Reese's cat and the Siamese cat, to be precise. Crap! How did they get outside? Did I let them out when I left? This is real bad. I'm pretty sure one of the first rules of working at a cat cafe is do not lose the cats! I thought it was don't talk about the cat cafe. No. The cat cafe better not be a fight club. No cat fighting rings. Why not? Because that's animal cruelty. Uh, somebody should talk to my uh, tabletop character then. Yeah, well. You're the one in charge of making your character a piece of shit, I guess. Okay, well, it's shoe. A piece of shit? Yes! They're not looking at me anymore. Now's my chance. I start creeping towards both cats. If I move too suddenly, I might spook them. I only make it a few steps before I see the bobtail's ears swivel back to face me. Without turning the rest of his head, it takes a springing leap and heads down one fork in the road. The Siamese cat continues down the same path, as casual as anything. I can't get them both, but I need to get at least one of them. I better decide who to go after. The obvious one. What, Reese? No! <laughs> Bobtail's on to me, clearly. But the Siamese cat hasn't picked up on it yet. My best chance right now is probably following the Siamese. It's gotten kind of far down the path. I better pick up my pace to catch up. I try to mimic those long strides Landry always takes to cover more ground, but that doesn't work out so well because Avery is not as tall as Landry. Landry's tall. Or everyone else is just short compared to him. I mean, true. Landry and Mason are about the same height, right? Uh, is it that they're the same height when Landry's like slumped over? No, I think they're about the same in general. Maybe. It's not like Mason has perfect posture. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Jogging's gonna be easier. Or not. My feet are falling harder on the ground and the cat notices. It's going faster now, so I better pick up the pace. I break out in a full run to follow him. He definitely knows I'm there now, but it doesn't matter. I have bigger legs, so I'm gonna catch up sooner or later. I'm a pretty good runner. I finally close the gap between us. Suddenly, the cat screeches to a halt and jerks around to face me. Hey, Avery, stop it. Eh? Why are you chasing me? I feel like you did not sound as confused as you needed to. <laughs> why, why are you chasing me? No, the one before. Because you got out. Wait, what am I saying? What are you saying? How are you saying? It's me. Me? Hayes. Last I checked, Hayes was a guy with glasses. You didn't seem like the pranking type, Hayes. The Hayes cat is puffing up like a dusting brush. I feel bad this cat's getting caught up in whatever shenanigans they're trying to put me through right now. This seems like it should be against work procedure. Oh, right. Was this one Landry? Uh, I think this one was Landry. It has to be. Well, yeah, it has to be. He's telling the truth, Avery. The voice comes from behind me. I whirled around to see Landry, but he's not there. It's down here. I readjust my gaze downward. Oh, come on! No, this... I feel like he's surprisingly fluffy for Landry. <laughs> Being so, like, tall and lanky. It all goes into the fur. Floof! Floof! <laughs> to floof him up. This isn't a joke, Avery. Landry Cat takes a few steps past me and sits down in front of Hayes Cat. Even as a Maine Coon, his gait is long. No. Come on. No, no, no. Graves didn't tell you. Tell me what? They are all secret cats? That doesn't make any sense. 
I... This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, Avery. I thought he told you. Is that why you were acting weird? You're keeping something that is bonkers a secret? Ta ta ta. It's not easy to talk about. Whenever we leave the cafe grounds, we turn into cats. I'm surprised to hear Hayes pipe up of all people. Or all cats. Cat people? It began around the time we started to work here. Grace calls it a curse. A curse. A curse? This is too much. Though, I don't know if everyone thinks of it that way. But wait. Everyone? Is everybody at the cafe a secret cat? Yes. Graves too? Nobody has seen him as a cat. But it seems safe to assume. Am I going to turn into a cat too? Landry isn't even looking at me anymore. He's avoiding eye contact as hard as he can. Hayes does the same. Neither answers. I'm going to turn into a cat? Oh, come on! Sorry, Avery. Maybe you can stop it. We don't know what causes the curse. Maybe if you talk to the others tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Let's have a whole cat council. We can invite hash browns too. Is he also a person? I can see the fur between Hayes' shoulders raising on end in a little ridge. Seeing that takes the wind out of my sails a little bit. Yeah, all right. I'm too tired for this. Too tired after a whole long day of doing nothing because there was barely any people. This better be a weird dream or something. A weird work-induced hallucination. <laughs> Sorry, Avery. Not listening to Talking Cats anymore. Bye! <laughs> Just kidding, we're listening to Talking Cats for the rest of this game. The sun's barely gone down, but I'm capital letter done with today. This is too much. Don't forget the good food this time. The canned stuff. <laughs> Did someone just say something? There's nobody here but Mochi. Da, da, da. Oh, for crap's sake. I find him standing next to the food bowl, looking up at me with those expectant eyes. I nudge him gently. I gently nudge him with my foot. Did you just say that? Mm. Nope. Nope, I'm done. I dump the rest of the canned food into the bowl and scurry out of the kitchen. Oh, Avery does feed them. Just dump and go. Fed. Then I dump myself in bed. I don't even want to think about it right now. I'm just going to sleep in a real bed for once. Maybe sleeping on that couch so much is messing with my head. I don't usually close the door, but I think it's a good idea tonight. I don't want Mochi whispering to me in my sleep. Meow. Meow. Wet food. Wet food. Wet food. <laughs> Wet food. Probably that, actually. <laughs> Bad food. <laughs> I wake up early enough, I surprise myself. This is gross. Who does this? People. At least I slept fairly well, all considered. My cheek hurts, kind of like I'm getting one of those real powerful zits. Just when I have a job I, where I see people all day. What perfect timing. I kick my legs free of the big blankets and roll off the side of the bed with my usual grace. God, this thing feels gross. I don't have any acne stuff with me here, but maybe Aunt Wendy had something I can put on it? I trundle over to the vanity to assess the damage. Uh... That's not a zit! 
That is a whisker. There is a whisker growing out of my face. It won't come out. I thought at first maybe it was mochis and it got stuck there, but nope. Growing out of my face. I tried to pluck it. That was probably one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Now I know just how sensitive cat whiskers are. Is this really how the curse starts? I've been pacing around for too long. I gotta go to work, but how am I supposed to leave the house like this? What if someone sees me? I guess I could try to cover it with something. I dig around a bit and find some dust masks under the sink. But maybe that'll do the trick? I could pretend I have a cold or something. Or not, because trying to put it on feels really awkward against my face. I'm at a loss here. I'd call one of the staffers, but I didn't get their numbers yesterday. I guess it'd be hard to use a cell phone as a cat anyway. Just have to go to the cafe and hope someone's there to ask. I didn't run into anybody on my way to the cafe yesterday, but knowing my luck, there'll be a whole crowd or something, and that's not foreshadowing at all. I keep my head down and walk quickly. Jeez, my face itches. I hope another one isn't coming in. The thought is enough to make me pick up my pace. Running to work is gonna be a theme for me. Maybe it'll keep me in shape. I just hope I can keep my human shape too. Why are there so many people milling around at the front, the front of the cafe today? All zero people in this picture. This is exactly what I was dreading. Well, it takes a lot of money to draw people on a picture. Hmm? Especially for one use. Well, they could just do what they did with that one cat and plop a bunch of the same person. <laughs> <laughs> that probably would look worse. Eh. I mean, this is not the first time that the art has not matched with the um, description. It's like they showed up specifically to look at the magical mutating cat person. <laughs> I mean, kind of. As I what approach the- named... Huh? Why haven't we named one of them magical mutating cat person? Because we always forget the line? I don't know. Do you want to write it down for next time? As I approach the cafe, the whisker falls off like a dead leaf or something. Look at it, just fluttered to the floor. I lean down to pick it up. If I hadn't seen it happen, I would have thought it fell off one of the cats. This is stupid. This is so stupid. My eyes start to sting. I can't tell if I should be mad or crying or both. It's just really, really stupid and I don't want to deal with it. Why not all three? I kick the door open with my foot, but it's actually pretty heavy, so it just sort of nudges open. Man, we're weak. Where the... Hell. Is Graves. Looks like most of them are already here. They're already setting the table for breakfast, like this is just a normal, regular, normal day where nobody grows cat whiskers. Oh, Avery. I don't think he's in yet. What's the matter? This is the matter. This whole dumb situation. He probably can't see the whisker I'm waving around, but I don't care. He knows what I'm talking about. Ooh, is that yours? What kind of cat are you? I'm not any kind of cat. I'm a people. I can't believe this. Oh, come on, Avery. Should have known this was going to happen. Hell, was I supposed to know? Sounds like somebody here didn't read their contract. The safe areas and other tips are mentioned in the welcome pamphlet. What contract? You signed some paperwork when you started, right? Yeah. Well? How can you all be so chill about this? You work for an evil dungeon lord who's turning us all into cats. I don't think they're called Dungeon Lords. 
Hey, Avery, none of us are happy about it either. We're doing what we can. Except for the people who are. Shh. There's got to be more you could be doing. Where is Graves? He may be upstairs, but I don't know. I remember hearing Graves go up some creaky steps yesterday. Maybe that's his office or something? Whatever it is, that room's gonna be missing a door after I kick out, kick it off its hinges. Yeah, right. And then get charged for property damage and receive zero paychecks for like a month. Avery couldn't knock anything off its hinges. True. I storm toward the back of the cafe. The steps must be back here somewhere. Hayes and Mason are in the kitchen. Hayes is gawking and even Mason's got an eye on me. Avery, where are you going? I've had enough of this. I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind. What? This curse crap. The other is trailing me to the kitchen. What am I, the cat herder? Avery, chill out. We aren't all mad about it. Most of us signed up for it on purpose. It's done some good things for some of us. Well, I'm mad about it. I'm mad as hell. Turning into a cat won't do jack for me. I know you're mad, but it's not Gray's fault. He does a lot to help us. We owe him. I don't owe him a damn thing. Seriously, Avery, shouting at our boss isn't going to change anything. There's nothing we can do about it right now. Let's just sit down and talk about it. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. I guess I see what you mean. Now, come on, don't be such a salty caramel latte. Finley puts her arm around my shoulder. I try shrinking away, but she just redoubles her efforts. I've never had someone be so forceful about comforting me. I will comfort you or you will die. Hmm. Also, basement. Caution! Stairs! Why, yes. What? Maybe people expect there to be a ramp. Wow. You like mm -hmm. donuts, right? How about jelly donuts? Oh, wrong. You like donuts, right? How about jelly donuts? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, now I want donuts. I, I also want donuts. Can you send me some? No, you gotta get your own. Oh, but where am I gonna get donuts? I don't know. Where am I gonna get donuts? You probably have a donut place like within walking distance. Not that I know of. Yeah, not that you know of yet. Oh wait, there's actually, there's um a mochi donut place. Mochi donuts? Yeah. There's a place that sells donuts, but with like rice flour. So they're like a little chewier and springier. Interesting. But they're not like your classic good jelly donut. See, I'm not a big fan of jelly donuts. They're okay, but- Yeah, well, you're also not a fan of berries. And I think there's usually like strawberry jam or something. Something. Something like that. I want to say it's usually like strawberry jelly. So that might be why you don't like jelly donuts. I think it's time to show you that this cat curse isn't all bad. She gives me a quick wink and a punch on the shoulder. Go sit down at the table. I'll be out to show you in a second. This is still so, so stupid frustration festers in the pit of my stomach and now I don't even have anywhere to put it. I feel another hand slap me gently between the shoulder blades. What is it with these people? This time it's Mason, which means that gently being slapped between the shoulder blades means she literally tapped us. Didn't eat yet, right? No, I've been freaking out about this all morning. How am I supposed to eat? She doesn't lift her hand. I can feel it like a weight on my back. Stop sulking and sit down. Eat. 
Is that comfort or threat? Good food calms you down. Lies. Well, I'm sorry you don't have good food off enough to calm you down. She gives me a firm but gentle push toward the dining area. It's like being scooted forward by a steel pillar. I guess I might as well go sit down. I return to the front of the cafe and flop down in the chair at the head of the tables. After all that following everybody was doing before, nobody's bothered to come back out yet. Maybe they think I could use the space to cool off. Feels a little like I'm in timeout. First out of the kitchen is Haze of all people. He tiptoes up and delicately sets a small teacup down in front of me. Um, it, it's chamomile and lavender tea. It can help with stress. I, I drink it sometimes when I'm overwhelmed too. Hi, Kate. Dot dot dot. Haze flinches a bit when I look up at him. I pick up the teacup and hold it to my face. It smells lovely, at least. He looks at me with his eyebrows upturned until I take a sip. When I oblige, I see what he means. This is pretty calming. I let out a deep sigh. I can feel my shoulders slump a bit. He seems relieved that I'm approved. He takes his permission to sit and takes the seat next to me. Do you know, I... I get anxious a lot. You probably guessed that though, huh? Some things help me out, like the tea. But I think the thing that helps me out the most is being a cat. I know that might must sound pretty stupid, but... But it's nice to have someone to go. I like that I can curl up in a tiny corner and nothing's expected of me. It helps me a lot. So that's... That really does sound stupid. But that's what we mean when we aren't mad about it. No, I... I think I get what you're saying. I don't agree, but I get it. Thanks. He doesn't seem to know what to say. He's just sort of staring down at the table and picking pieces off the paper napkin in front of him. Do you hate people? Do you hate being around people? Huh? I mean, why would you work at a place when where you're around people all the time if they make you nervous? Oh. Aw, what a cute CG. Wait, did we do this? Huh? Have we done this one before? I don't think so. We might have done it the first time. Maybe? When we had no idea who we were going for. And ended up with Finley. Yeah. They say it's like a muscle. You have to work on talking to people to get better at it. Yeah, you. I'm fine with talking to people! Are you, though? Totally! I do it all the time! Lies. I'm constantly talking to people. Yeah, me. <laughs> I don't count. Yes, you, you're people! No, I'm a person. So you cow. Or a robot. If you're a robot, I'm a shrub. Okay, okay, I'm not a robot. I'm a nobody, remember? According to you, in fact. And so am I. Dance, water, dance. <laughs> so, I thought I'd try it, but... I feel like we didn't do this one before. I don't remember. So you jumped right into the deep end? I guess so. Hey, do I make you nervous too? I... what? I mean, I don't want to make you nervous. You can talk to me whenever you'd like, if you want to, I don't know, practice or something? Oh. Thanks. Of course. 
That's what color grades are for, right? I guess so. Well, it's a start, I suppose. Esteemed patrons, may I have your attention, please? Especially you, Avery. Where is your voice even coming from? Down here, kiddo. Eh? I look down and... And... Your jelly donut? It's me, a real-life internet sensation. You're so surprised. You should see the look on your face right now. Wow, so you're you've really captured bleh, bleh, bleh. So you've really capitalized on this cars, huh? I just started making videos as a way to have fun with the situation. Who knew a celebrity? I'll give you my auto autograph later if you'd like. Are you okay over there? Yes, I'm okay. No, I'm fine. She gives my leg a playful pat and then gives me a wink. You're so starstruck. I'm not. You so are. I bet you spend a lot of time on the internet. I bet you know all about me. No! You're blushing. Why would I be blushing about a cat? Oh, cut the shtick, both of you. Reese saunters up, serving platter in hand. He nudges Finley aside with his foot, scooting her a good distance from the table. Rude. Are you over your temper tantrum, Avery? Well, I almost was, but then you had to come in here and call it a temper tantrum. No sense of humor, just like I said. He reaches over my shoulder and sets a plate of pancakes down in front of me. Finley, go change back. I don't want your dirty feet on the table. God, I'm gonna sneak nip into your clothes next time you're in cat detail. Despite her threat, Finley saunters off, like tail flicking into the break room. She returns a moment later and flops down in the seat across from me, but not before grabbing another stack of pancakes from Reese. She's already digging into her food when Mason comes from the kitchen and takes her usual seat. Landry follows close behind her with another tray of pancakes, and the rest of the table pounces on their breakfast spray. How are you feeling, Avery? Better, I guess. I'm glad to hear it. I know, we're like an hour and a half in already, but I kind of just want to speed through the actual options, because I'm so tired of reading the same things. Go for it. Burr, burr, burr. You should be able to hit the fast forward button. Shouldn't you? Probably. There we go. E. Uh, you pack. Hmm? You pack. Let's see, we're talking about how hectic it'll be and yeah, stuff. I, I... I guess Hayes is more like hassle, even though he wouldn't say it. So just be like, okay. I know. I mean, it's, he literally gets called out. Sorry, Hayes. I know. I know. We'll say what a hassle. Sounds like a ha such a hassle. Why do I? Why? Why do it at all? Because they want to earn tips. Are you kidding? We rake in some sweet, sweet cash on jelly donut days. I hope you've got a well big enough for all the tips you'll get. Good publicity. We aren't in a very convenient spot, so we'll take what we can get. Yeah, those are pretty good points. Says Avery, completely business inept. Although I'm feeling the point about the tips more personally. Mason, are you ready? 
It's gonna be a long day for you. I like a challenge. Now finish eating so we can get back to work. Skip. Because next is stealing donut, right? Mm hmm. I assume we're not stealing the donut. I don't think we are stealing a donut this time. We've gone through this before. We have, but remember how it wipes my history? Yes, that is true. I remember. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You're so busy, though. You don't have to do that. You can turn him down, my generosity. Yes. No, I didn't mean... Relax, it's a joke. Oh. Sorry! How am I supposed to tell with her? I don't remember. Is there anything else? Hmm? What is it? I don't even remember the next choice. Mm, the there are various choices. Wait. Well, yeah. Well, yes, the next there are choice I choices. think might be um, at the end of the day when you go to get Hayes, whether to help him with the dishes or whatever. Uh, which, of course, we're helping. Oh, wait, no, this is first. Sure, one coffee coming right up. All right. Now you should be able to skip. Hmm? Now you should be able to. Yeah. Because it's just a few lines. Have a good night. With that, she's gone. Boy, she's hard to talk to. She disappears around the corner, but a second later I catch a glimpse of a lanky orange cat with a crooked tail. Maybe that's her. Looks like she's heading in the same direction as my apartment. I wonder if we're neighbors? Probably not. That's kind of silly to assume. When I get back to the kitchen, I hear the sink running. It looks like Hayes is doing the rest of the dishes. I guess we should read this part. Why doesn't he come out with the others? Poor boy deserves a break as much as the rest of us. If everybody's a family like Finley said, he should be part of it too. Help Hayes, help Hayes, help Hayes. I guess we could do this real quick, though. Hey, let me help with that. You can't do all those yourself. Uh, you don't have to. Yeah, I do. But I'm going to feel bad leaving you in here by yourself. I'm going to check something real quick. What are you going to check? If we've, if I've screwed it up. Please say I screwed it up somehow. That'd be hilarious. I mean, according to this, we should have snuck a donut. Or tried. Uh, probably because it's negative points to uh, Mason. I'm not sure it is. No. Yeah, I guess it is. It makes sense that sneaking a donut is negative points to Mason. I don't know if it's... I don't... I don't know. Because some games just don't do negative points. They just don't give positive. That's true. But this one does say to invite him to go back. And I feel oh. like last time we invited him to go back and then had more of a conversation with him. Maybe? Well, there's no go back button, so. I like it that way. Too bad, because I'm here. He turns the sink back on and looks away from me. I guess it was a little forceful. He's acting like I scolded him. Mm. We do the dishes together quietly. He 
He washes, I dry. This is really awkward. So... His looks startled, like I just shouted at him. I was only trying to break the silence, but maybe I should have had a good follow-up. Could have been working here long? Nailed it! I suppose so. How long is that? Two months? Meaning not long at all. I'd get more blood from a stone. Should I leave him alone after all? That's cool. Yeah. And that's it, huh? Awkward. We finish up the dishes without much else by way of talking. Great. All right. I'm going to go back out and sit with the others for a bit. You coming? Sure. Yeah, the other option definitely gave us more conversation with him before. I don't remember the other conversation. We both head out, quietly. I grab a cup of coffee on my way back to the cafe. He slips upstairs, probably to get a cup of much better coffee. Watch we somehow hit Finley again. Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting to see who we get, because I screwed it up. I mean, we've gotten most of the same answers, but I think there's only like maybe two or three specific like haze type options, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Skip. We'll see. Skip. Hmm? Skip, skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Study, study, study. Study, 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 study. It's not exactly studying. Study, 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 study. Trash magic, study, study, mid trash magic. Haze coffee. Haze coffee. Well? Haze? His ear flicks and one eye shoots open. It looks like he takes a moment to register what's happening, but once he does, his eyes dilate to the size of saucers. Hey, Avery? His tail puffs up and he backs away from Junta at a surprising speed. He bumps into the wall and then hops a solid six inches into the air in shock. Haze, calm down. I love the expression on this guy. He's just judging. Could be she. Could be she judging you. The cat is just judging. This one's grumpy. Okay, but that's all cats. That is not all cats. These ones are laid down. So cute. Where did all the shoes come from? Mm, I think it's pretty normal for a cat cafe to make you take your shoes off when you go in. But Good nobody's cafe. here except for us and Hayes. Um, maybe they take their maybe the people don't bother putting their shoes back on before going out home because it doesn't matter they're not wearing shoes that's fair anyway it's just me I I just I Jinzo was crying a lot and and then I just sort of Oh, please don't make fun of me. Junta is one of our newest cats. He's a sweetheart stray we found wandering the streets, but he scares easily, so he gets clingy sometimes. Why would I do that? That, that was really sweet of you. Slowly. Have ever, hmm? Have we ever done the other option of getting... Not yet. <laughs> I think we've always done this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, it's a haze scene, so I'm not skipping it. That's fair. I was just wondering, like, wait, have we ever done the other option? We will. Someday. 
Oh, I know exactly when. Oh? I'm just not spoiling it. Spoiler, no spoiling! I just said I'm not going to, you fucking Spoiler, head. no spoiling! Okay, fuckhead. <laughs> Slowly, I reach down and scratch Junta behind the ears. He's confused by all the commotion, but doesn't seem too stressed about it. But I... I'm so thoughtful about the cats. It's great. Oh. Oh, I guess so. Thanks. I'm jealous, actually. Wish I could sleep in a pile of cats. It is pretty nice. He seems to have calmed down a bit, thankfully. How about some coffee? I could go for a cup. I bet you could, too. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna change- I'm going to change back. Don't look, okay? You got it. Despite being around all these cursed cat people, I've never seen a transformation in progress. Maybe it's not something I'm supposed to see. Uh, ah! Chew. Anyway, it's probably as rude and creepy as watching someone get changed, so I'm not about to peek except that one time that Avery tried to peek. Okay. Would you like a cappuccino? I'll go make us some coffee. There's the cappuccino. That sounds great, thank you. Score! I don't have to mess with the coffee machine after all. And Hayes is in anger at us. Uh... So many people. Stay so put. many people and none of the options are Hayes. So we're staying put. Uh, I'm gonna stay here and finish this delicious coffee before I do anything. This is my day off after all. We all get caught up doing our own thing when I hear footsteps approach from the kitchen. Haze, my sweet Haze. <laughs> He's a real close now. Hello. And Mason just shows up out of nowhere. Yep. I think Mason's the real ninja. Hmm? Mason's mm -hmm. the real ninja. I mean, I don't think Mason is likely to, like, walk as quietly. She just comes in from, like, the back where nobody's expecting her. But, like, if she came up the stairs, she's not going to bother trying to walk so quietly that you're not going to hear her. At which point, it's just Avery's being stupid. Okay, but Avery's always being stupid, so... Yes. But that doesn't mean Mason would make a good ninja. It just means that Mason can sneak up on Avery because Avery is dumb. <laughs> Why are all the main characters so dumb? Anyway, according to the thingy, we should always check out the basement. But, like, is anything different gonna happen? I don't know. It seems to be the last option, so. Okay, let's skip. Okay, it worked the first time, right? I think they might come down to see us. I don't remember. I also think that this history has been lost again, so. Great, Craig. Hello? Okay. Yeah. I think starting around here. Um, actually. No, most of this I think is the same. I think here is the last one. Or maybe here? I know that there's, like, when I hear something creaking above me, it is different. Nah, he left. I'm hearing things. I resume my hunt. Maybe these are magic crystals after all. Creak, creak. H hello Is anybody here? Is the door open by itself? Oh, these look like not the kind of steps that would creak, but whatever. You don't know how poorly they, they were built. 
I can see the light from upstairs, Wayne, as Hayes pulls the door shut. Hayes, wait! Get down here! Ah. I'm so sorry. It's cool. You didn't know. Say, why don't you come down for a second? Wh why? It's spooky being down here by myself. So I'm going to drag you down here so it's not spooky. I could use some company. It is spooky down there. I guess this probably means we are on Hayes's route. It sounds like. Even though we missed a choice. He hasn't moved from the top of the stairs. But we were so low on everybody else's, it didn't matter. Aw, <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not gonna bite. I mean, I guess we got like two of the three for him. Yeah. One of those anatomical skeletons might. There are a lot of weird things down here, but I'm sure none of them are haunted yet. Are you? Are you sure, Avery? I... Well... Hmm. He's got a point. If there are curses, we can't really rule out hauntings. It would seem awfully arbitrary to draw the line there. Well, I definitely don't want to be down here alone then. Please? I don't know... Look, if something is haunted, I'm gonna punch it in the nose before it even gets to you. So noble. But I don't think skeletons have noses anymore. You're right. Uh, that makes it even worse. Ah! What was that noise? Something, or someone, crashes to the ground. Ah! Ah! What? I don't know. It's okay. Not knowing is not okay. I spin around to the supply shelves. A dusty looking can rolls under the spice rack. Oh. It's nothing. Don't worry. I don't want you to be down there anymore, Avery. Are you worried about me? Yes? Why don't you come up here instead and then we can close the door? I'll help you up the stairs. This is a waste of time. We're becoming a paranoia feedback loop. I better get out of here. Deal. I'm coming up, and we can go have some tea instead. I'll try to find some witch relics or whatever some other time. Right now, Hayes is standing at the top of the stairs, hand outstretched. I creep up the creaky steps, taking his hand as we reach the top. So that was a close one. Probably. His hand is a little clammy, but it's not bad. Was he really that worried about me? That's kind of sweet. I don't, kind of don't want to let go yet. You know, to comfort him. Aha, uh -huh, sure. He could use it. Aha, uh -huh, sure. Hey, you're apparently the one that's most like Avery. Not that way. Well, that was a bust, mostly. It's kind of nice to talk to Hayes, I guess. It feels good to be getting closer to everybody here. It's sort of like I finally have a social life. Well, sort of. I guess I'm still hanging out with a bunch of cats one way or another. Back to the drawing table on this curse business, huh? Nice it's not a musical. Right? Yeah, Finley, be nice. Oh man, we're even gonna skip over the singing. Good. Eh. Eh? A2 Hayes. Eh. What are you ang? I mean, the singing wasn't that bad. It's evil. <sighs> so. 
evil. Well, aren't you glad you weren't Finley for her route where she had to sing it out loud really loudly into, like, a microphone thing? Extremely. Okay. Should we do the same thing again where we just confirm for absolute sure we're on the Hayes route and then stop? Mm, yeah. I'm kind of tired. Yeah, good. We'll continue Wednesday, question mark. Should be fine for Wednesday, right? I don't have any plans. I never have plans. Except when you and, do. Okay. Most of my plans have been on Tuesdays, not Wednesdays. <laughs> I'm just making fun of the fact that the other time when we missed a weekend was you. The one time out of how many times? I know. Missed? I know it's vast majority me. But I'm just enjoying that you can no longer say that it's never you. It's almost never me. Almost means not always. Hey, it's not that bad that I had to write it into my calendar so I didn't double book it. Shh. Grace mm -hmm. pops in and out of the cafe like a stray cat over the next couple of weeks, never staying for long. I still don't know what he's doing when he's gone. The days come and go and we settle into a routine. Everybody shows up and does their thing. I'm getting better at my job. I'm getting better at some other stuff, too. Hey, Mochi, check it out. Mochi opens one eye and thumps his tail against the side of the couch. I'm almost totally sure he understands me now, somehow. When I talk to him, it's not like I'm talking to a sentient pillow anymore. He actually acknowledges what I say and responds. It's not that weird to talk to your pets anyway, right? I mean, it's not like he's literally talking back to me. That would be weird. I set two cola cans next to each other and then take a step back. Are you watching? Better be watching. <sighs> okay, here we go. Concentrate and the cola cans flutter apart into long ribbons like potato peels. They collapse on each other and form a jumbled mess of aluminum. There's some soft crunching while the ball of soda can wobbles around a bit. Shapes begin to emerge from the ball of aluminum ribbons. Arms, legs, ears. Then, before you know it... Ta-da! Wow, that was so much less excited than every other time you've done it. Ta-da! Better. A soda can sculpture of a cat! It's you! Mochi makes a little huffing noise, then closes his eyes. I set the cat sculpture aside with all the others. Why? You don't think it looks like you? You're the worst audience. I'm gonna show this to the guys at the cafe. They'll appreciate it. I think I feel comfortable enough with my er, magic, I guess I might as well call it, to bring it up to everybody. I can demonstrate it now, after all, so it's not like they have reason to not believe me. The real problem now is figuring how the, figuring out how the heck to bring it up. I'm gonna mold that one over a bit, but I suppose a day or two more of planning won't hurt. I should start getting ready for work. I've had a couple days off, but I've still been going in to hang out with everybody almost every day. What can I say? I really like everybody there. Some hey, more than others. Hmm? I don't have anything else to do with the rest of my life. Okay, one especially more than others, but whatever! But again, first things first, we'll worry about the cat situation, and then I'll worry about the cute coworker situation. But are they cute? Supposedly. Although I think if anybody called Mason cute to her face, they'd be missing an eyeball later. Yeah. Yeah. Or a hand. Or any other number of body parts. Or their life. Hmm? Or their life. Yes, because they're missing, like, an entire leg or something and then bled out. Just bleed out slowly. I grab my keys, smoosh my face into Mochi's to say goodbye. He hates it. And then head on my way. Oh. Remember the cat food. Wet food only. 
Skip. I don't know if you're about this again. I'm like, actually, I guess this is long enough to not do it's one It's pretty at long. Time. Hey, Bree, there you are. I was starting to get worried. Sorry. Okay, I guess there's a little bit further. Because mm -hmm. he said he'll be popping in and out. Blah, 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 blah. He's painting anti-test alarms everywhere. Okay, here we go. We got it. Hey, Hayes. Hey, Hayes. Ah. He startles when I call his name. Oops. Maybe next time I'll try waving to get his attention instead. When you get a minute, can I talk to you about something? It's pretty important. Oh, no. What? Is... did I do something wrong? Uh, what? I... I made you mad about something, didn't I? You're mad. I... I'm sorry. What? No! I'm not mad about anything. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize for apologizing either! We're gonna get caught in a loop here. I'm so. Uh, you're um. You're right. Can we talk about it now? Just for my sake, please. I'm gonna worry about it all day if you just, if you say something like that. Are you okay? Oh um. Yeah, totally. Sorry, I should have waited. Oh. Oh no, I didn't mean... Oh gosh. I'm making this really complicated, aren't I? He's so nervous. I thought we'd gotten to know each other well enough that he'd be over it by now, but it looks like I've still got a few barriers to break. I place my hand on his shoulder as gently as I can and give it a reassuring squeeze. He looks up at me with unabashed surprise. Well, at least I don't see any panic. Can we go to the basement to talk? Um, can we go to Grace's apartment instead? I'm not too fond of that basement. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, Grace is gonna be busy doing whatever he's doing up there. Of course. Let's go. It's not too crowded at the cafe right now, and we're fairly well staffed, so I tell Andrew we're going to take a quick break. I don't like the way Finley's waggling her eyebrows at me and Hayes, but forget her! <laughs> <laughs> it's important to me that Hayes hears this before everybody else. I feel like he'd be a lot more comfortable hearing this from you directly instead of getting surprised in some big group. Besides, I want to be the one to break the curse for him. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to be a hero or anything, especially considering he doesn't particularly want the curse broken. It's just... I kind of want to make him smile. I hope this doesn't freak him out too much in the interim. Should I sit down, or...? If you wanna. I mean, it isn't like a big thing, you know? Well, it is, but... Okay... Let's get right to the heart of it. I think we're under a witch's curse. Oh. Um, okay... No, like, I mean... His is watching me expect expectantly with those beautiful eyes of his. I almost forget what I was going to say. Okay, let me start over. Come to think of it, his eyes are a slightly darker blue here than they are when he's a cat. And his eyes also look a lot bigger when he's a cat. Do they? I think so. Uh-huh. Having compared the eyes of Hayes. Well, just because when he is a Siamese, his eyes look huge. Sure? 
sure. I found a magic book in the basement and I've been studying it. It's basically all I do besides work and sleep anymore. And half the time Avery doesn't sleep. So, wow. I had no idea anything like that was here. I guess Graves will collect anything. Yeah, right? I was kind of surprised, but also sort of expecting it. I learned a lot of totally interesting things, but like, kind of hitting a dead end, so... Wanted to see if maybe you wanted to help me? We could study it together? Me? Yes, you. I want to do this for everybody. I think we can do it together. To break the curse. I, I don't know what I can do to help, but... I'm sorry. I don't think I'll be helpful, but... I'll try, Avery. As long as you want to try, that's enough for me. Figure out the rest later. What should I do? Um, how about a crash course? Crash course in magic? The book is at my place, so as long as you don't mind coming over, we can study there. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Your place sounds. That sounds nice. Meet me out front once our ship's over, okay? It's not. It's not too so far. We can walk together. Are you okay there? No. My you want to try that just... line again? It's not so far we can walk together. You want to read it again? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I just can't read. The way you're reading it is the complete opposite meaning. <laughs> It's fine. That's not your line. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Good. All right. Um. Better get back to work. See you then. Okay. See you. So awkward. I mean, Hayes is just like okay. I guess up until they meet at the end of the day. I mean, whenever you want to stop. When they meet up at the end of the day. Okay. I make my way back down to the cafe. Finley gives me a big sloppy wink as I step off the stairs. Yikes. So, how'd it go? How did what go? You and Hayes, huh? Oh my god, no! Don't get ahead of yourself. Or Avery. Don't get ahead of Avery. Wow. Hmm? Wow. Just wow. What? Nothing. We know that they're gonna end up together. Shh. What Finley's is just getting ahead of Avery's actual, you know, actions. Avery doesn't know that yet. Eh, Avery knows that they think one coworker is cuter than the other, so... But that doesn't mean you're gonna get together with that one person. Yeah, but Finley's implying of, like, asking them out. Not it's necessarily it's, getting together. It's so cute. Did you melt his icy heart? I mean, I guess it's not icy per se. Cool then? Chilly? Lukewarm? I feel like none of those words describe Hayes. What would you describe it as? Anxious? <laughs> like, Hayes isn't icy. He's not even, like, chilly. He's a ball of anxiety? He's just too anxious to, like, get close to people, but it's not that he's, like, icing other people out, it's that he's too nervous. No, no, it's not like that. Your blushy, blushy cheeks are telling me otherwise. 
Come on, I mean it. I had to talk to him about something work-related. That's all. Oh, really? Come on, you can do better than that. If you need a little advice or a little push, I just give little Cupid Calico over here. Let ugh. just let little Cupid Calico Calico over here now. I'm real good at this kind of thing. Says a girl who seems to not have had a boyfriend or girlfriend or anything. She's too busy being jelly donut. She's too busy playing games about uh Boy a Kia. Just a Kia, really, right? <laughs> I'm gonna ignore you now. I'm real good at planning dates. I can give you some ideas. Yeah, the rift straight from my dating games. Yeah. Not listening. What is this, middle school? Is she gonna put on a gossip blog or something? I head toward the stairs just in time to see him. Hayes is standing at the top of the steps, staring down at me and Finley talking. When he sees me, I see his shoulders jolt and he hurries to clean the espresso machine a little too vigorously. <laughs> crap, 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 he heard all of that. He pretends I'm not here, so I'll pretend to be busy too. In the kitchen. Away from cute boys and glasses and nosy calico girls. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Finley. Spend most of the afternoon doing busy work for Mason. Finley and Landry are covering the floor, and Hayes is still upstairs cleaning. I don't know where Reese went, but I'm glad he's gone. He'd definitely have something to say about my meeting with Hayes. Oh, yes. All right. I'll save here. I can overwrite this now, right? Yeah, you think so. Okay. Back to menu. Back to farts. Your favorite song. No, it's not. Okay. Your favorite song. Go away. Okay, bye. Bye.